Hello everyone, uh, thanks for logging on and watching this video. Um, today I'm doing a series of videos because uh, I had a few hours to kill. Um, and this one's going to be about the uh, 3 watch collection. And a lot of people uh, aspire to having a simple 3 watch collection and I was one of them. Uh, till I got another, then another, and another. But if I was to go back and stick with three, or if someone else said, listen, I want to have just three watches, what would they be? Um, at any price point, really, uh, I'd say this. Because you could get, get these three and then put the rest of your money on a vintage car, a house, whatever you like. And then still have a brilliant watch collection. And... Of course if you want to go high end you can go high end but practically speaking you really don't need any other watches than these three um, why well if you look at the categories of wrist watches there's the diver the chronograph and the dress watch um, and these are just that um, let's start with the diver because that's most likely the one that a lot of us would wear every day um, and just have this one watch which is the Rolex Submariner so this is the 114060 the no date sub uh, in my opinion uh, the most iconic of all the subs uh, the sub date is nice but uh, there's nothing like a clean dial of a sub uh, non-date. Um, why is this such a great watch? Well, first of all, it's a Rolex, so you could wear it every day, uh, do whatever you like wearing it, almost everything, unless you want to bash it around. Um, and you'd know that the watch will survive, and even if it doesn't survive, you know that five, six, seven hundred dollars, and you can have this watch serviced and back, back with you in excellent condition. And 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years later, you'd know that this watch is still going to work, still going to be serviceable, and you could still do everything that you want in it. Um, if you were a bit more adventurous, uh, it's 300 meter water resistant, so you can dive with it. Uh, it's got an extremely solid diving bezel, unidirectional. And it's got a very, very nice brushed stainless steel clasp. And this is what I love about this watch. The, oops, the glide lock. So you just pop it in and you can slide the bracelet up or down as you like. To size it so it's a beautiful watch 40 millimeters really really well made um, on the wrist I'm just gonna take this off. so I know it's a three watch collection but I can't help but show that <coughs> so that's what it looks like on the wrist really nice well balanced not too not too big not too small really good wrist presence and as i said could wear it every day and not bother buy any other watch <coughs> so what's next so if you're done with the diver because really you don't need a blanc pan you don't need a Panerai, you don't need anything else when you have a sub unless you really like the Panerai or Blancpain then there's the Chrono sure you could buy a Daytona but uh, if you already got one Rolex um, and you want to diversify your brands um, and you just want probably the best known chronograph in the world uh, and horologically significant Amazing Le Manier base movement, um, historically significant being the Moon Watch, and um, 
as even a piece of engineering it's just so well made has a light glass on top um, it was good enough to go to the moon and back many times and been outside in extra vehicle activities in the moon so you can't really complain about this watch uh, it's you can't ask for anything more in a chronograph uh, I have this on a Omega strap uh, it comes in a bracelet which is very nice but if you already have a sub on a stainless steel you could get this on a uh, rally strap like I do or you could get it on a really nice alligator strap uh, which I have as well uh, but I like the the strap here because it balances out uh, the, the, the collection so on the wrist that's what it looks like on the wrist and I think it's a very well made watch and for the money you can't really go wrong uh, you could pick one up new for probably under 5000 you could pick them up used for significantly less so now you have a diver and you have a chronograph uh, you've got watch on a bracelet you have a watch on a strap um, what else do you need well you need a dress watch uh, because well even if you don't wear a suit and tie every day uh, you, it is still nice to have a watch that you can wear with the tuxedo or with the suit or wear for a formal event <clears throat> this is where this watch really comes into shine the famous or infamous reversal uh, even though this watch was made as a sports watch and is still essentially a sports watch because uh, most of the new ones have the thousand hour testing and the possibly hundred meter water resistance I might be wrong in some of the models but not this one um, well why do you need a reversal well because again historically significant watch um, one of the most uh, complicated watch cases made um, even Patek Philippe uh, made a few watches with this case uh, but there's a different history behind that uh, they always come in really really well made uh, alligator or crocodile straps and they all ha have this really cool party piece and the reason why I like this model the Reverso Duo is because it makes it even more relevant as an evening watch because depending on where you are what you're doing what you're wearing you could make it into a light colored dial in this case a silver or you could make it into a dark colored dial black so this is the original reverso duo this is quite uh, sought after at this stage it's got the tritium hand and the tritium numbers and it's got this little pusher on the side that when you push this you can move the second side of a hand independently so allowing this watch to be a GMT watch <clears throat> well not a GMT watch a travel time watch uh, as well or you could just have them both showing the same time and just swap the dial color so this watch has always fascinated me and I actually bought one uh, and that was just a simple single sided one um, didn't have two phases so changed to this one and it's one of the most uh, elegant wristwatches and when you see someone wearing a reverso you know that uh, they either know their watches or they have very good taste because it's not a watch that everyone just would, would look up and go for and buy because most people starting off in watches would go for one of these two uh, but it takes a certain bit of uh, uh, horological um, development to graduate up to this so on the wrist very well 
size watch. I have small wrists, my wrists are around uh, six and a third inches, maybe six and a half, and this is the 42 millimeter River Sodo. Um, and I think it fits perfectly as a dress watch. Uh, sure, I don't need big watches because I have the other watches with me, so I just wanted a smaller watch, and that's what it looks like. So my camera is on the wide angle lens allowing me to film 3-4 watches at a time on the screen so I can't get the macro shots unfortunately. So that's what uh, the reversal looks like. So getting back to a 3 watch collection. Honestly you have to ask yourself why put yourself through the torch of watches like I am either stick to one watch honestly get one of these or this and try and stay away from it but if you did get the bug and you did want to get more you could just get these three and stop um, but looking at my other videos you know that I didn't stop there but I just thought I'd do this video just in case someone did just want to stick with three watches and wanted to see probably the best three watch collection option out there in in the market so sure you could interchange some of these you could change that to a sub date you could change that to an Omega um, Planet Ocean or Omega Seamaster and then you could change that to a Daytona uh, you could change that with a maybe a master control but if you just wanted to have the greatest hits of watches uh, just to put in a time capsule and let it be forever and people would still know about them in two three hundred years um, these three would probably be it because the Submariner the Speedmaster and the Reverso takes all the boxes covers all the bases uh, and you probably couldn't ask for any more uh, look I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions comments please don't hesitate to post it down below. Uh, do subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's nice to know that 400 plus people have subscribed. I'd like to see that grow so that I know when I'm doing a video that it is reaching a good few watch enthusiasts like myself. Um, if you want any more detailed videos on any of my watches, again, leave a comment and I'll try uh, to get to it. Thanks for watching.